The ability to communicate within ICS is essential. Communications can be looked at in three different ways. The hardware system that transfer the information, planning for the use of all of available communication frequencies and resources, and the procedure and processes for transferring information. Just as every incident requires an incident action plan, every incident also needs a communication plan. Like the action plan, it can be very simple and stated orally, or it can be quite complex and form a part of a written incident action plan. Several communication networks may be established depending on the size and complexity of the incident. The command net established to link supervisor personnel from incident commander down to and including division and group supervisors. Tactical nets established in a variety of ways by agency, department, geographically uh, designated areas or functions. Tactical nets may be established for each branch or for divisions and groups depending upon hardware frequencies available and specific incident needs. Support net established on large incidences to handle logistics, traffic, and resource status changes. Air to ground established to coordinate air to ground air traffic. Air to air assigned for coordinating between aircraft assigned to an incident. An awareness of available communication systems and frequencies combined with an understanding of incident requirements will enable the communications unit leader to develop an effective communication plan for each operational period. An essential part of an effective multi-agency incident management system is for all communications to be in clear text, that is, do not use radio codes.